Hey, hi, hello everyone, I'm Golf Ghoulie coming at you with a game I haven't played before. I know, I know what you're gonna say, I have not been super active on YouTube. You've been getting VODs for that, I don't apologize. But, I'm bringing you a game today. <laughs> so, let's hop right into the of Rachel Foster. Coming back to the family hotel after years, a young woman finds herself trapped with the ghosts from her past and an old cellular telephone as the only way to unveil a terrible truth. Today, we are playing on the suicide of Rachel Foster. My dear Nicole, you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after you, your speech at high school graduation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. This is gameplay, okay. Are we at a funeral? Oh yeah, I think we are. I think I can shove past? Wow, this is... The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when Duncan was a good kid. But even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Oh man, this is this is really deep. Okay. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth. But that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. Oh wow. As a mom, this kind of hits, kind of hits different. I've never seen a gameplay of this. I've never seen anything about this. So we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see. Oh. 
Helena National. This is in December 1993. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? Okay, I think we're here. The smell. It's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Ten years ago. My car, apparently. It's mom's car. It's a good car. Multi-lamp. I like that everything has a label. Okay, we gotta zoom. Oh, we found a level. It's pretty level. All right. We have a run. Okay, so, so okay, we do have a run. Well, you're not gonna tell me those are fuel barrels? Wow, okay. Well, let's go. They can't go in there. Alright, let's go over here, I guess. Got a toolbox. Is there a, okay. Well, I think it's just kind of giving us the run down the skinny. Leonard's motorbike. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the Mountain Museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Oh, perfect timing. A phone. Fantastic. There's a, there's a climb and shoot. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is missing though. Climbing axe? Okay. I guess we'll go over here. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Oh. I guess I wasn't fast enough? Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? I didn't What's your emergency? I didn't call. Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Leonard must be her dad. Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I, I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry, goodbye. Okay, so we are delinquent on our bills. Um, uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. Ah, here we the go. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. Wow, you're kind. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. Fantastic. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you poor old folks on only dream of. <laughs> oh, I left you some notes and a master key on the Why? dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. In the Give master me a suite. Hours, don't run off, all right? Okay, so master suite. We are currently in the office. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. All right, so. Um, I guess we're in Montana. 
Oh, this is a very lovely uh, establishment here. Uh, just stuff kind of all over the place. I like that you can look at everything. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So I can't go in through here. Also, I'm getting some, like, some kind of graphic something or other. Like, a, a line through the... I don't know if the... I don't know if OBS is picking it up, but... Kind of frustrating? Oh. A dying rose? Well, that's an odd place to... Have that in room 217? Okay. I think it's only on my screen. Okay, cool. I can live with that. All right. Payphones, man. Payphones. That's a... That's a blast from the past right there. <laughs> Excuse me? Come again? Oh. It's a sound of uh, snow falling, I think. Okay. This is fine. Regile! They definitely uh, messed that up. I think it's going to be over here. Master Suite. Okay. All right. Let's go find whatever it is. There's a letter. Let's look around first. Tons of books. Astrophysics for physicists. I actually think I have a book that is very similar to this. The only way we interact with the distant objects is by observing the radiation they admit, um, admit, emit. Much of astrophysics has to do with deducing theories that explain the mecha mechanisms that produce this radiation most, uh, let's see, and provide ideas for how to extract the most information from it. That's very interesting. Okay, yeah, I think I actually have a book that looks just like that. It was my grandfather's from when he was in college. Uh, I've got several books from him from college, rest his soul. Okay, so this is my bedroom. Kind of beautiful, actually. Wish I could have a room like this for my kiddo. Everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Why... Wow. Old friend. Yes! Some floppies? Oh my gosh. The throwback is so real. You can got VHS and a VHS player. Very cool. Oh, look. I guess we were... This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Okay. So we've got that. Got some, like, painkillers. Someone likes unicorns, typical little girl room. Mixtape. Very, very cool. We've got some more floppies. Got a bunch of uh, VHS. Very, very cool little details. Like, this is very stereotypical 90s girls room. Like, I recognize, like, the whole idea behind some of this. Very freaking cool. Very cool. Okay. What we got over here. I need to answer the phone. What is this, a joke? What? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, 
You sound very unsure of yourself. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from federal... Whatchamacallit? Well, she's very rude. Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll okay. enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You... Uh... Bye. She is very rude. She has got some pent-up anger. Gotta take a chill. Must be my dad's room. Lovely. Oh, that's really cute. Wow. Occult anatomy. Uh, very strange that he would have a book on that. Of emotion with love. Another occult book. Dad, what were you into, my guy? All right. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Why can I pick that up? We got matches. Firefly matches. Interesting. Calculations. Equals 60. Okay. That was into some weird shit. That's fine. Happens. Something's missing from right there. Estimate. Uh, resident of the city of Helena, county of Montana, state of United States. No, no, that's... Okay, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, being of sound mind, not acting under duress or undue influence, and fully understanding the nature and extent of all my property, and of his, this disposition thereof, do hereby make, publish, and declare this document to be my last will and testament, and hereby revoke any and all other wills in... Uh, cond condescals heretofore made by me. Uh, I direct that all my debts and expenses of my last illness, funeral, and burial be paid as soon after my death as may be reasonably convenient, and I hereby authorize my personal representative here and after appointed to settle and discharge in his or her absolute discretion any claims made against my estate. I further direct that my personal representative, uh, representative shall pay out of my estate any and all estate and inheritance tax payable by reason of my death in respect of all items included in the computation of such taxes, whether by passing under this will or otherwise. Said taxes shall be paid by my personal representative as if such taxes were my debts without recovery of any part of such tax payments from anyone who receives any items included in such computation. Uh, personal, uh, I nominate and appoint Claire Wilson of Helena County of Montana State, uh, blah, 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 as personal representative of my state, and I request that she be appointed temporary personal representative if she applies. I devise and bequeath my property, both real and personal, and wherever situated as below. First beneficiary, Nicole Wilson, currently of, uh, as my daughter, whose last four digits uh blah, blah 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 with the following property timberline hotel okay can we can we flip it okay um lawyer benjamin jenkins okay all right um Dear Miss Nicole Wilson, this is to inform you that the nominated personal representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibility are not, uh, are now, 
attributed to the recipient, please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indicating your consent to the above transmission, returning it to me in a correct envelope. If I do not receive your reply objection to the proposed transfer, I will assume that you accord to it and that there will not be any future problems regarding the owning of the property named above. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Lawyer Benjamin Jenkins. Okay, do we have anything on the back? Okay, no. So, your to-do list. What am I supposed to be doing? Our atlas. He's got, okay, I think multiple of the same, same books. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Little beans and medications. There's a litter box. The weird that I can pick that up. Sure. Okay. Onward to victory. If that's even a thing. What was that? Oh. I guess I'll go take care of this. Or maybe not. Well, dang. Okay. Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. I I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already what? icing over. I nope. gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, uh, yeah? Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down... We can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What was the purpose of that what conversation? Can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong in a hotel? On a mountainside? Where am I at? Ah, okay. Here we go. I think this is correct. Fantastic. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. Are you Wh sure? Why would think you think so? Leave them on Maybe the seat? Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones that's what they call them uh, radio doesn't reach out there i bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer it's like a two-way radio station that's always open oh, this place i vowed to never come back listen i might only be a voice but remember i'm here for you if you need me just call seriously oh fine but she's kind of a butthole, if we're being, like, perfectly honest. I have to open the garage door. hope it's working. 
Oh, I guess I have to go back. Okay. Okay, let's open the garage door. Like, if you don't have your keys, how are you gonna get out, though? Also, how come your mom's car is here? This does not feel safe. Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place 10 years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, okay. let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. Okay. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Okay. Well, she might as well go up to her room and get comfy. I hope she brought a, um, a slim gem. I'm just saying, she doesn't have much. Uh, okay, well. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Very, oh. very sus guy. Thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. If I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job. You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay in the I game can't room. Believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. I'll just play some video games. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. It's day one. Okay, cool. Oh, she's in her dad's room for some reason. That noise. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. That's so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, so I need to go to the power source. So that's probably going to be in the basement, in the boiler room, maybe electric room in the garage. OK, Irving, it's me again. Obviously, I could really use a shower. Sure, you'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, okay potatoes that. and beans, bean broth. <laughs> 
Uh, all Starving that sounds suddenly delicious. seems like an acceptable option. Okay, so this is not the right way. I am once again lost. One day I'll figure my way out. It'll be in the last five minutes of the game. Irving. And she's me. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting. <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. What in the world? Farting? The furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's long gone. And we'll just hop back on the phone. We could have just going? stayed on the phone. It looks real complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess. What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The uh, thing that looks like a clock. 100? Looks like 220. Just kidding. Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push okay. the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up. This is uh, very interesting nothing. conversation. Just talking to an old friend. Push button. I push. And it goes down. Hopefully. That's not a creepy sound at all. That's this is fine. It's fine. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Okay. So, I guess we're going back upstairs to take a shower? Thought we needed to go to the electric room, though. I thought we needed to go to the electric electric room to make sure that. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Kitchen. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just. Being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. okay. So, we're going back to our childhood room. Assuming I can find my way. Aha! Found it. Good job, me. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room. Okay. Some posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, This then. is a little awkward. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. Clearly we're gonna be here longer than one day. Okay, she doesn't suck. Okay, just, just kidding. That kind of sucked. Okay. 
Interesting. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my god. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. That's beautiful. Mm. Get any sleep? All right, let's try this again. I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. Mm. So, any news? Uh, uh, what? Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. Okay. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon. Probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. All right. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Yum, yum. So this is the kitchen. Search for food in the kitchen area. Okay, cool. So let's do that. What's a dishes? Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should <gasps> choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Uh... For a while I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning my bed was swarming with ants. Oh god. Must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. Okay, so we'll report that. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Okay, freezer is... Um, we are in the... Hello? That was an odd noise. I don't want to go in here, dude. No. Uh. Uh, no. No. Hey. You kidding? Okay. Uh. This is fine. Yeah, I figured this was gonna happen. What? I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Okay. Really, where's the microwave? Oh, here it is. Yeah, let's, um, oh my god, she's stupid. Don't ever heat metal in the microwave, ever. It would be better off to heat that on the stove if you're not going to put it in something. Wow. What an idiot. Okay. Is, is this done yet? This is creepy. All right, I. Oof. This is.
very creepy atmosphere. Uh, and I hate it here. All right. Yum. Two minute microwave. Oh, it's in a mug, I guess. Mug lunch. Interesting. Oh yeah, you're not gonna throw that away. Cool. Uh huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. Okay. I'm only taking good news. I'm only taking good news today. Otherwise, let me eat. Up to you. Thought you'd like to know. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. Okay. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Weird. An odd place to have a cross. Man, that's some uh, demonic obsession. So we'll go that way first. Two, two, one, two. We'll go the dark way first, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to let me open just any door. Cool. <laughs> There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. Wow. I would like to know that. What in the heck? Interesting. Is that kind of witchy? Room check. Well, kind of hard to read. Good lord, that's a view, though. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine living in a place like this? Or staying in a place like this? I knew, I knew it's a hotel, but... Kind of cool. Cancelled. Construction cost estimate worksheet. $912,000. Woo! Okay, yeah, I can see why it was cancelled. Good lord. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Ooh. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. Okay. What do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. Is it's it up weird? to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Okay. Is something wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. Can I answer I, this? I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing Why do you keep calling him? If you don't want to talk to him. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? A ghost face? Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? Don't do anything stupid. You're gonna pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone, I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. Why was that less threatening than I intended it to be? Hmm. Okay. 
The call is from in, coming from inside the house. Okay. All right, cool. We're not going to report that. We're just going to report everything else. Are you pissed at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. Yeah. I'll ask someone to run a check. Unbelievable. I mean, with the storm, the closed roads, and people croaking and all, someone has nothing better to do than bust my balls? Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? What the heck? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get was that nice? every one of them. I know what we went through. What no one heck? else. Fuck them. Wow, she's got she's got like a serious chip on her shoulder. Okay, so we need a key. Oh, uh, here we go again. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? That was Nicole, weird. It's Irving. Oh, that was weird. <sighs> Sorry. Must have been sleeping pills and those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Oh, cool. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. Cool. I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We gotta do something. My okay. electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Okay. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. Oh, that's All stupid. Right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Closet. Oh, closet. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it worked. <clears throat> you want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. This is weird. Oh, smart. You can try. I had one just like this when I was 16. Leonard gave it to me. Maybe it's the same one. No way. I broke mine hiking on Hogback Mountain. I cried all day with Leonard insisting it was only an instrument used to capture images. He said, you keep the really important ones inside. Can't say he was wrong. Oh, yep. Okay, where do anyway, I go? Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. Irving said I must enter the crawl space in the first floor staff area. Staff area. Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. 
On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. Okay. What a professional tone. Yeah, I use it when I want to make a good impression. Okay. <laughs> You're the only human being I can interact with while I'm hostage here. Whatever you say will impress me. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Okay. Uh. Ben's message. Hi, I left you the dynamo flashlight. You'll have to work a little uh, to make some light. Ha ha ha. Ben. Oh, cool. Yeah, let me pick that up. I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. This is fine. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? When I was a kid, I used to crawl through tunnels like a mouse, but the crawl space seems so narrow now. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up. Rude. You know what, though? She's being such an ass to him. I can't even be mad. Okay. All right. Shit. What's wrong? I am totally in the dark. You're fine. I appreciate some help. Uh, okay, stay calm. The fuck? Can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get okay. to the generator room. Don't go any other way. Otherwise, who knows where you'll end up. Okay, Perfect. cool. I got the flashlight. Sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail. More like my cable trail. Whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Yeah. I'm already there. Does it. I'm already there. Let's go. I guess I'd like to use. Do I have to like put that away to use this? Okay, yeah, I can't have anything in my inventory. Okay, or in my hand. This is fine. Okay. Lipstick. Uh, okay. Screwdriver. The level. Okay. Well, wasn't I in here earlier? Uh, now it lets me pick it up. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay. This is uh, weird. Go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Uh huh. What's a lipstick doing here? Yeah, he's not it's going to know. A lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. This is really weird. Okay. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. Yeah, it's that perfect. happens sometimes. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. Okay, it's been there for nine or ten years then. Strange someone should wait ten years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? No. Why are you telling me this, Nicole? 
You want to get pretty there with the generator? Are you crazy? Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... She's being so paranoid. Yeah. You're probably right. Okay. Some of this just doesn't make any sense. Why is she so paranoid about everything? Like, that could have been somebody that worked there 10 years ago's lipstick that opened it one time and then left it sitting there. I don't trigger it. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, uh, okay. Okay. So, let's try this now. Report. Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you- Okay, can... we're going through this again. Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. Let's That's what one. everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I mean... Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. Okay. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <sighs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. All right, let's try this again. Ah, now I can look at stuff. Okay. Um. If there's any writing on the back, no. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Okay, so now we're getting story. He was a very strict man, harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Back in the day, I thought he was a kind of reptilian with a human Damn. skin Damn, okay. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Mm. Uh, right. I have a feeling because, because she was pregnant, right? I think we're going to end up... I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. Okay. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, yeah, that was the official version. Assuming that, that just, so, so you're, you're making, making it like there was an unofficial version. 
Okay. Let's see, we can report on multiple things. Friend's In story. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Sounds like every, uh, every streamer ever. <laughs> um... But she was a classmate. She couldn't have been wrong. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. Okay. Okay, so I think... We can let's hey, report on the book. I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or, Rachel is sad. Or, Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. I feel like we don't actually have to find it, though, you know? You know what I mean? Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. I didn't know Maybe that. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... Yeah, sure. Leonard ruined his life over a 16-year-old, became a recluse, lost everything, and in the meantime, he supposedly had another lover, maybe even two. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? So, we can report... So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Okay. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay. Bob, well, I'll hear you out. Okay. I'd say that's enough. Yeah. That's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. Music's making me very tired. You don't need my approval. Good yeah, job. I know. You're getting the hang of it. But sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. That's true. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. <sighs> I'll follow it to the T. Dude, dude, it's a lava lamp. Oh, I love lava lamps. Baller. Uh, is she really dead? Complete day four. Oh, we got a... We, okay, cool. We got a, a thing. Got a thing. Oh, what in the heck? Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Oh, this is weird. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. 
This is weird. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Wait, so did we just completely bypass day five? Did she sleep from day four to day six? All right. Morning. When she just Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast. Okay. But it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like, uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Okay. Ghost hunters. Caps. Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line too. Whatever. Let me hear it. Okay. Uh, but I'm warning you. It's kind of, well. Listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> okay. We are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one open. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. One seventeen. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it okay. too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap. You're freaking me Holy up. shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, Damn I... It. Stop touching me or, or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. What in the heck? Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? Oh, this is creepy. Okay. Maybe maybe there is a ghost? That's it? Yep. The tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. Mm -hmm. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. Well, I'm already here. It's, Let's go. Uh, 117. I listened. I heard. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Let's, uh, yep. Hey. I found the room. But? <sighs> but someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Yeah, that sounds good. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. It was downstairs. Probably in the basement. Seems to me I've seen one in the garage, 
Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. In the generator room, sweetheart. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. I can't okay. stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God Gee, I wonder why. why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, dude. Prayer, for example. For me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. <laughs> is that your line? Maybe, no, I don't know. Screwdriver, okay. But that's the idea. Screwdriver. Found I'm out of here. I uh, will just be taking that, thank you very much, and then I guess we go back upstairs. Nothing creepy here. Got a nice little Phillips. They like left everything. Okay. That's fine. Oh, they really left in a hurry, huh? Can't read any of that. Sure. Interesting. This is a really big hotel room. What in the goodness? You know who would really like something like this? Would be like a really good hotel room for like a convention. Like you take all your friends and y'all go to like an anime convention or a horror movie convention. Split the bill. Heck yeah. Complete coverage of all NHL. They, there were some hockey fans at this house. Let me just tell you. They didn't take any other stuff. Okay. Video recorder. Notes. Milk. How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Okay. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Yeah. So sad okay. to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I it know. is. Really. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Uh, all right. Um, back in the day when you could go to a hotel and smoke inside. Those were the days. Let me tell you. All right. I mean, it's not good to do, you know, but. Oh my gosh, that's a blast from the past. Holy moly. Okay. Check the room and the equipment those dumbasses left. Okay. Oh, look, a VHS tape. Okay. Shut up a sec. 
There's that noise again in the headphones. It sounds like someone is talking to themselves. I see you smoking the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is that <laughs> 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 Did you see his face? He's missing a couple screws. <laughs> I mean, I can't like argue. A woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. So well, they think he's turning into Norman Bates? Yeah, to get rid of the interference? Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm going to go have a sit. And if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done... Ah! What the fuck are you doing? I shot that thing! Well, you're not taking it. No, I mean, for real! What? Huh? What the... No! What in the fuck? What do you guys say? Looks more like a, like a, a oh my god. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. It moves! Oh god! Yeah, I'm telling you! Oh shit, I can't find the keys! Oh god, this place is Where are the keys? Oh. The keys. Oh. There it is! The light, the light, the light! Oh, come on! Oh, oh. Have we ever found our keys? That's a lot of noise. Is there anything on the- Oh! Okay. This is fine. Yeah. Can I get film? Be nice if I could get film. Okay. What's happening? I guess I'm doing this right. I have no idea. Also, I'm sorry for any noise. Irving. Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. <clears throat> Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Okay, we're starting to, to get into the meat and potatoes of the situation, I think, finally. This is weird. Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home. I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till I... you get closure. This is, <sighs> this is weird. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. That's well, weird. I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free. You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Two days ago, I imagined you as a pimply kid from rescue services with a Boy Scout complex. Pimply? My skin is as smooth as a 12-year-old's. Look at this. It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. Oh, it's a real phone, old brick. trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's the downfall of man. It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh... 
No. <laughs> what are you? I mean, it's just. I... Relax. I was kidding. Our social relationships. I can never now. tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Cutie pie, get a oh, date. Okay. Okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. That was fake. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was. In the end, there was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... Oh. Hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. Oh. There you have it. These are my memories, and... That's rough. Uh, Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, I think it's coming okay. from in here. Yeah. Okay. Didn't mean to pull that one out. Sadly. I think it's in here. So we're gonna check this. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, this is creepy. Random ass. Oh. I, I I wanted to tell you something. Not now. I heard a sound. Something familiar. Listen, I've had this in my head for a while. I, I don't know. I, I seem to sense a sort of chemistry. Are you trying to tell me something, Irving? Something embarrassing, maybe? I can understand that you can't stand the side of the timberline. Not even on a postcard, but... But for me, this is important. It's given me the chance You've to You've been meet. a lot of help, and I'm happy you're here, but right now I need to figure this out. Sorry. But, but somehow, it would be nice if, after this whole thing, we could meet in person, have a drink. I mean, uh, if I'm going too fast, just say no, so probably... Irving! I know it's ridiculous to ask out someone you've oh, never even seen. Oh, this is seen, weird. But uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please! Shh! A sec. Okay, okay, maybe I crossed the line. Sorry, I'm a klutz sometimes and- Irving, please shut the fuck up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this. But now just give me time to figure out where the sound is coming from. I'll call you back. I... Sure. Is it from up here? Maybe from this one? Maybe over here? Sometimes listen to the hotel whispers. Irving, you hear me? Oh my god. Ugh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Hey, sorry I didn't answer. I was uh, 
busy. Oh, uh, no problem. Hey, it's that's fine. broken. What do you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. This is weird. Okay. Oh, this is this is eerie. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Thanks. I'd be in my room, just not. Okay. I, think I gotta go back downstairs. I think I went too far up, maybe? Water. Okay. That's weird. Oh, I hate it. Oh, okay. Wait, maybe? Found anything? Interesting. I oh my god, I'm like so anymore. enamored by like, like what's going on. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. <sighs> okay. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Yeah, you should have it's seen like a the ball shining kind there. of thing. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Oh, that's creepy. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on her back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. It was the beginning of the end, and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Nikki? Sorry, I'm <laughs> when it, when... a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm going to look around again, and then I'm going to bed. Be Interesting. Careful. Why is he calling me Nikki? Seems a little, uh... Unprofessional.
I heard knocking. How many days? He said it was gonna be like two days. It's been way longer than two days. Okay, got a lectern. Ow. Somebody's been living here. A couple of people look like they've been living here. A bottle. Uh, another bottle. Sacred image. Okay. Ah. Uh, this is an odd series of events. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Oh, this is screwed up. Um, and talk about being uncomfortable here. Oh, this is so screwed up. My map's gone too. Okay, I guess I'll just go up here. Uh. What is even freaking happening right now? Dude, something is really muffed up right now. Uh, let's just get back to our apartment here. freaked out. This is fine. Everything's fine. Um, I think I went the wrong way. Okay. I think I should have turned over here. But the noises, like the ambient noises are so creepy. She's really been cleaning the house. Medicines. It's disgusting in here. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. What in the fudge? Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? No? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. Well, that's creepy. It used that's... to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Sleepwalking episodes are common in children. 
That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I guess I'm going back oh, to that uh, creepy place. Cool. Irving? Love that. Yeah. I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. It's office. Hey, okay, back to the church we go then. Just, it's just you know, it's fine. Nothing wrong with this at all. I'd have to go down here. Uh, hi. Uh, I was thinking, there Th really y'all are could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you're excluding the idea that I received our Lord's calling in the dream? I never thought about that. Sister Nicole doesn't sound bad at all, though. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that. Something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. Fair. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. Okay. I suppose. Oh my god, that out of the corner of my eye just scared me. Okay. Report this. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> Interesting. What kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. Kind of like There was now? that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh. This sounds, sounds like good. a uh, Nancy Drew novel. What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... This whole it's... thing is strange to me. I... It's so weird. I... Wow. A total mystery. Wanna play? Wanna play a game? Uh, I... Yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. Okay. Or... Sleeping bag. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up camper. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. Oh. Damn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Yeah, keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but 
You never know. Gee. <sighs> okay, okay. They don't want me to sell because they're living here currently. You practicing for the church choir now? Oh, I know this tune. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. That's a piss bottle. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I Ugh. don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's complicated. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. Okay. play the organ in a church in the middle of the night. Really? How do you know? Hey, what are you doing there? Don't know. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. Okay. It's been years since anyone played it. How My would you know? My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. You should take it with you. To play it. In Portland. You're better off listening to a cat in heat than my scales. Well, wow. You can always pick it up again. Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. How Victorian of you. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. I'm so she's confused. So perfect. Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. I'm so confused. Keep looking. Was Rachel... Okay, okay. Rachel wasn't related to you, though. What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Like notes right there. This feels like it's gonna fall down around me at any point. All the riddle, I could finally find the old storage room. Okay. Maybe if I just follow this tunnel? Oh, a, a butterfly. Guess I'll follow that. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Follow the we weird ass butterfly. Oh shit. Oh shit. Won't fall. It looks. Don't mind me. Whoa, okay. Someone was here? Access the secret room. Oh my god, it's a disappointments room.
Uh. Oh, shit. So, found the mystery decorations? No, no. No decorations. This is Depending a disappointments room. I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, oh, this is fucked up. T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. Breadcrumb. A pink bed. It's like a kid's room. No way. This is so screwed up. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a replica. How do you know that? Uh, you don't know that. You, you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. This girl is I'm grasping sure at straws. Explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to. I mean, isn't it going to take them hours to get there? We got a key. Can you hear me? That's not a nice yes. word. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No, I found a key. It's from my old music box. Coconut. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think? Someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of does. So calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Dude, this is so muffed up. I can't find the Lexi music. I'm going to open it, open it, open it, open it. Dude, it's so fucked. Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're going to say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why... Why I would this... be gone. We'll figure it out. We'll Go get my sure. jacket and get the we'll fuck get out. out of there into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen, a bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Almost like she's Leonard's schizophrenic. notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father, he spent um. years in there, in total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience, he, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know what that in the heck? You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you? My my father might have a lot like of weaknesses. Him. But surely, what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. Dude, the voice I, acting is so he good. He would never have built a fucking oh underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. She has something wrong with her brain space. 
The fact that she is not willing to, like, listen to reason? <sighs> Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. <sighs> Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? This is heavy, dude. Okay. First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Sleepy. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. But they and now I find her, her retainer body. box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have. But I thought here. they did. They did an autopsy. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide. No Timberline money. No. Oh, no, no, I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in the a fucking Lulu. underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Okay. Well, right here. Might as well. Oh, shit. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? This is so weird. Girl has some like seriously badly repressed issues i'm not even sure if the guy on the recorder is actually a real person or not irving finally i know i told you to go to hell i was dying on this chair you're right that room freaked me out so, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Oh, this is so what weird. What are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. Girl. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It... It all sounds It really insane. does. 
The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that here? really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Whoops. Church. That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Mezzanine. Okay, so we just gotta go down to the fireplace room. So we gotta go down to floor. Why didn't we start there? Girl, you got some serious, serious, serious issues. This looks like a, what I would call a mezzanine. Oh my god, my back. It itches. All right. Fireplace room. A hall. Mezzanine. This is the mezzanine. Right. It's getting moldier in here. Carve it. Ooh, okay. Oh, I can't ding it. That's sad. I was really hoping I could ding it. So what am I looking for here? This is the entry hall. Okay. So, okay, which is the hall. The mezzanine is upstairs. Take a look in the mezzanine in the middle. Uh, the better things find their proper position. The heck? Okay. Uh, mezzanine's gonna be up, up a flight. Up a flight. Up a flight. Okay. Now to find whatever is hiding here. In the middle. A. What am I? What am I missing? Okay. Glasses. Dishes. Okay. In the mezzanine.
Surely not back here, right? Kitchen. Okay, we're not ever going in there again. <sighs> well, that's not where I need to be. I guess we go back this way. I wish it was a little bit more obvious. Just, you know, for someone like me who's a little oblivious. Plus, every freaking sound makes a... I didn't close this door. Oh, it just closes on its own. That's normal. That's completely normal. Where's the pickaxe at? Still a little perturbed about that. Climbing shoe. Huh. What in the hell? Up with the noises, dude. And where am I supposed to go? It said mezzanine, but I didn't see anything there. I would love to know where I'm supposed to go here. Would love to know. Would be fantastic, in fact. Uh, this is the dining room? Yes, so, I mean... Okay... Oh, snap! There's a- okay. There's another secret passage. Great. Cool. Love this. Oh, fuck this. Oh. Okay. Uh... Oh my god. Holy shit. This is weird. Irving? Oh shit just got really weird, dude. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins. Everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Oh, this is so cursed. That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? This is beyond fucked. Oh. Why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Uh... Okay. This is so screwed up. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. 
Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. What? Hello? Hello, Irving. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, I guess we're heading upstairs. Woo! Let's go! Yay! This is exactly what I wanted to do! This isn't so screwed up at all. Place is so foobar. So so foobard. I went the wrong way. <laughs> the heck was that noise? Oh, um. Yeah, this I would definitely go in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh crap. Well, this isn't good. That's my car. Uh... Figure outside the ballroom window. Oh my god. That's my car! Uh, empty VHS. Oh my god. Uh... Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? What does all this oh mean? Oh my god! That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. Okay. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. What in the, the fuck? The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talk to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. Oh my god. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall so in the night. Up. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. 
I grew up around lobbies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Who are you? Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... This, this oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His... He's Rebecca's brother? sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. This is so fucked up. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Yes, it's true. I hated her. But I was just a jealous kid. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Irving, where are you right now? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there, in that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. Oh my god. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You be the new witness. You what owe in the it cult? to us. And you owe it to her. I don't owe shit to nobody, bitch. Okay. Oh. What a very pretty, twinkly light attic. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that 
exuded from these hallways. What the fuck is even happening? We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking in the air about? We breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light. In death, I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired this is of making me uncomfortable. In this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be. What? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me. It's for my fucking car. Murderer, huh? Okay. Oh no, this is fine. This is fine! Thoughts. Ranking. Okay. Well, this is an unfortunate series of events. She hasn't grabbed a weapon or anything. Dude, I would have grabbed a weapon so fucking fast. So fast. Inside Claire's car. That's so muffed up, dude. This is beyond muffed up. I'm in here with a psychopath. <gasps> okay. And a ghost. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul. Better than anyone. Did you really You know? were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about oh, the truth? Oh no, please don't tell, tell me what who? I think's gonna happen. Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I am sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal. Shame. Death. Oh, My no. family was destroyed, just like yours. 
Oh, no. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? Oh. You want the truth. It, oh. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. Dude, I think I already what have. What does that mean? Oh. Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Pack rat, get all the items. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, what am I supposed to do now? What's in this blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. I think we have to go to the laundry room. Okay. Locker room. Oh, okay. Why don't I want to wash it? I really don't. I just want to get in the car and go. Where's the laundry room? Uh, over here, I think. Washing machines. Oh no. Oh no. We've had a lot of glitches. I think we've had three or four now. And I think I would have been done much sooner. Oh no. How could I have forgotten? Oh. I... I saw everything. Oh. I was there. I figured this was going to be the ending. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. I remember it like it was yesterday. Ow. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a rightful creature a, a disturbed dangerous animal I've never seen her like that before or after not even on her deathbed oh my god and then she put her hands on her hips exhausted she smiled and there she was again my mom I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I oh. climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She cleaned it. Go on. No, I, I don't. 
go on. We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Oh. Don't say... Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk, rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. What good does this do anybody? Thank you, Nikki. Literally, what good does it do? It does no good. This this ending is kind of bombed. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire I was only a kid. Plus she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is... is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... We can all be reunited at last. Oh, dude, what? you're fucked up. Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> dude is so screwed up in my head. It was so beautiful. What, Irving? Where I wouldn't want to know where he is. Why do you want to know where he is? Why Just leave. As far as the eye can see, beyond the mountains. You, you left the hotel, but it's too cold. You'll, you'll die out there, Irving. Please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. This is so don't, fucked don't up. Don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again in another time. Beyond this horizon of events, everything is. Okay, where are my car keys at? Irving. At least. Irving. I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? What in the fudge? It's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. 
I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh, well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Uh... Wait a sec, let's talk. Oh, there's also my scene. Of course. Oh, shit. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last oh. year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. This is not the answer. You like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom? Dad, it would be so nice. Shit, I guess we're doing this. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Oh. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. Oh. You. I. Don't want to die. Is she haunted? It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the oh. light. Complete the game. Okay. I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Just love. What a dark... Visually stunning, crazy experience of a game. Holy crap. That's absolutely insane. I was not expecting that deep of a story. There were a few bugs in it. I'm going to try to edit those out and everything. Guys, but if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below with a dove because they need peace in their lives. I mean, she needs peace in her life. They're all dead. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget that I stream over on twitch.tv slash every day of the week just about and I will see y'all in the next one. Creep it real. Bye bye